G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is a Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today we're back with MinMax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So let's get to it. Last time around we had some success against both the zombies and the pirates. Now, if you have watched the last two engineering episodes, you know I am about to upgrade my ship. I have decided after some consideration to upgrade to the dull garden uh, design. That was uh, episode three of uh, the season three engineering episodes for Spaz 2. And it's basically a 11 core carrier design. It's not a complete carrier design. It's basically an upgrade of the current design because unlike uh, my previous playthroughs, I don't have a lot of scrap in this game because I can't just hunt down enemies willy nilly uh, because I'm playing an expert. Now, uh, in case you haven't watched those episodes, I will take you through all the uh, all the parts that I am putting on well not that there are a lot of them but I will take you through that but unfortunately that design will cost me about 38,000 scrap and if I go back to home base now and sell off everything in my personal stash I believe I'm only going to come to about 26,000 the good news is however I am currently on there we go Currently on a bandit hive that has 14,817 scrap as part of its loot. So, what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to go in, raid the place, and take every last unit of scrap. Before we do that, though, one last thing. Uh, this new design will be completely designed around... That was redundant doesn't matter this new design is based around cooperation with strikecraft it's pretty much my first ship i've ever built in all of my playthroughs that is designed specifically to work with strikecraft now how this will work is i'm going to have three ikes uh in the hangar and the ikes are going to be basically anti-strike craft anti-missile and anti-drone so they're going to have a shotgun they're going to carry around a pair of defenders and they're going to carry around double ion micro missile salvos in case any of the enemy strike craft have shields or uh, once I've defeated all the enemy strike craft, the enemy motherships or bases, uh, I need help taking down their shields. So we're going to switch all of them to those Ike designs. Well, not all of them, sorry. I'm going to switch the first three to Ike Designs, and we're going to have uh, three of them each. And then for the last uh, strike craft in the hangar, what we're going to have is basically a mini carrier. We're going to have a tug, and we're going to arm it with a pulser, so its direct fire weapon has a range of 600. And then on the other two mounts, I'm going to put zapper pods, which will give us a grand total of eight zappers. Now, the uh, tactical doctrine for this ship will be once I smash all the enemy strike craft and any motherships, it, it, this is basically to help me take out bases because bases usually have very strong shields. So I will put the, uh, the rally point, uh, strike craft rally point, behind my ship in a place of relative safety and then I will summon it in and it will sit behind me well it will usually make a slow circle around me and um, firing its pulsar and launching its uh, its zappers and yeah that's basically how that will work but um, for the moment, I'm going to have to take out this bandit hive, this level 3 bandit hive, in order to steal that booty. Uh, but you have watched me destroy level 3 bandit hives numerous times now. We know I can do it. So I am going to spare you and I will uh, skip past this for you. 
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are coming up on the money shot. I thought I'd include this. And just a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. And... Boom. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to pick up all of this loot. And then I will be back to upgrade my ship. Well, now we can start the episode in earnest, or at least we could, only I now have to go back to base, sell off the parts in my uh, personal storage, and put away the junk I am carrying that I actually want to keep. So, again, I will um, save you the inconvenience of having to watch through all of that, and I'll be back in a moment. So let's take a look at the new ship design. Now straight away you can probably see I have changed the spine to a, uh, a dumbbell shape, uh, a vertical dumbbell shape I should say, and that lets me put on a large engine and a large nose. Now I have switched the old uh, medium sun, hu sun hunter engine with a large sun hunter engine. And uh, I have replaced the Defender Pod with a Defender Hanger. So I've gone from four Defender Drones to eight Defender Drones. Most importantly though, I have replaced the medium Void Militia Nose with a large Void Militia Nose. And I have replaced the Defender Pod with a Bomber Hanger. So now I have six Long Range Bombers. So... They've got a range about 750. Unlike the uh, Zapper and Defender drones, though, they do have to return on occasion to replenish their bomb load, or at least that's what it's always seemed to me, uh, unlike the Zapper and the Defenders, which only land when you run out of capacitor juice. Um, in order to make room uh, for the change in spine, I have had to take off the uh, Cloud Torpedo medium wing and the Pulsar medium wing. So no more Pulsar, unfortunately. But um, once I have some more scrap, I am going to replace either the Cloud Torpedo wings or the Particle Hose wings. Probably... Uh, no, I should probably keep a direct fire weapon, so... I'll probably replace the Cloud Torpedo Wings and the Ion SRMs with uh, Zapper Drone Hangers. But that's neither here nor there, because this is the ship we have for the moment. And just to be on the safe side, I might put those parts into storage. And what I have with me is I've got 4,000 res, uh, 4,000 scrap, and double the uh, minimum number of goons that I need, which is, you know, typically what I carry around with me for disinfecting parts. Now, the reason I'm carrying so much res than I normally do, and the reason I've managed to sell a few things to get 4,000 scrap, is because I think it is time to push back hard against the zombies. Now... If we're going to take the, the fight to the zombies, we are going to need a forward operating base. And my intention is to build it at Watcher's Landing. And that is why we have the 4,000 scrap. So let's head off there now. And the reason we have all that extra res is because we're going to start curing zombies. Now, with this extra star base and... You know, as usual, I'm going to build a um, Sun Hunter style base, which won't. Oh, again, again, another war. Seriously. Okay, so Harry Beggar, level 31 zombie, threat 55 is attacking me. Let's see how we do with this uh, new ship gun. Uh, and that's two zombies attacking me. Let us hope this new ship configuration, in conjunction with um, Strike Force One or Sierra Foxtrot One, as I prefer to call it, is whoa, well, there goes um, get him. <gasps> oh Jesus Christ! There goes my shields quickly. Damn, 
Okay, guys. Get back close to me. Oh, look at all these missiles raining down hell upon me. And got hit by a spall right in the engine. Not good. Not that it matters. I am now dead. Oh, so many things went wrong then. Okay, so much for pushing back against the zombies if we can't even take on the zombies in friendly territory. So what are we going to do about that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it is quite simple. And I'll show you in a moment. Okay, I think the time has come where I might actually need a wingman. So let's look at the faction info. And let's sort by level. Okay, so Robo Gazer is one of my strongest or is my strongest guy, but he has a star base, so Officer Bookson does not. Officer Bookson Okay, so we'll set Officer Bookson as my wingman. He's over in Slipstream, so I might meet him halfway. Let that zombie chase me. In fact, that might actually be good. Can you chase me a bit more, dude? Because I might just be... If I can wait until that zombie attacks this guy. Yep, he is. Is he engaged? Is he engaged? Yes, he is. I think what we'll do is we'll attack this guy. And that way we should be able to fight him two on one. Excellent. And of course, once we defeat him... Okay, guys. Now... No, no, no. What are you guys doing? Stay on target. Stay over here. Don't fuck off over there. Ah, bloody hell. My wingman is already in trouble. Pull out of there, wingman. Okay, let's go after this guy then. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's see what sort of shit he's got. Okay, there goes me bombers. I can see their little red globes of death going in. Excellent. I'll just... Okay, Bookson's doing okay against the enemy strike craft, but... Oh, 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 shit. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Okay, not doing too bad at all. Um... Okay, this dude must be a hell of a lot weaker than, um... The guy I got into the fight with last... No, this is Harry Beggar. So it must have been that second guy who reinforced him. That uh, must have been so much stronger. Hell, for all I know, mate, it was the zombie alpha. But we need to take out these strike craft before they do any major damage to um, Officer Bookson. But I tell you what, um, Sierra Foxtrot 1 is doing a really good job here. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to. Okay... Excellent. You've protected me and you have knocked out the enemy strike craft. That is perfect. I am really, really happy with that. Yes, very good, Officer Bookson. Very, very good. Spin around, get this last blueprint. My god, I didn't lose a single strike craft. That is fantastic. Okay, back to the star map we go. Of course, we will get less experience uh, if we're toting a. That's a zapper hanger. That's a zapper hanger, ladies and gentlemen. What are the fucking chances of that? That is awesome. Okay, so let's take all these bits. And... Ooh, health, weapon damage, or shield strength. Oh. You know what? Since I am a carrier and I can sit back, you know, well... Unless enemies catch up on me. Um, I could probably take the weapon damage. Or then again, it's that initial crush of battle when all the strike craft come against you and you end up close to the enemy mothership half the time. Shield strength might help me survive that. Then again, weapon damage will help me finish the battles quicker. Weapon damage. I'll probably regret that momentarily. But first up, before we have any regrets or not, we're going to transfer all this into space. We're going to disinfect with goons. And I think what we might do is we'll speak to Officer Bookson. And we will... You can have... 
Uh, actually, wait. Let's, uh, before we do that, first, let's go to Harry. Let's cure his infection. Good. He will go back to the nearest friendly starbase. Starbase. The nearest friendly starbase, which is probably either Slipstream or um, one of mine. And he will get himself a new ship now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We nearly missed... Uh, oh, nearly missed three cores. Let's go scavenge this shit up. You know what else we should do, ladies and gentlemen? We should probably quick save, shouldn't we? Okay, now we'll scavenge this shit up. And, okay. So, we've got another watch spire. I've got plenty of them, and I do mean plenty. So, I am definitely going to give Officer Books and... What should I give you? I'll definitely give you the missiles. And, I'll, oh, actually, I will disinfect the watch spire for you first. Because I'm a generous guy. And then I will give you this shit, just in case you want it. Watch by a grinder. I should probably give you the cloud torpedoes, actually. But I want to sell them. No, that's useful. I'll give it to you. Watch by a and cloud torpedoes. There you go. And I'll sell the grinder. But what I will do is... Take off... This cloud torpedo, this ion SRM, and I will put this zapper hanger on. That is awesome. Um, yeah, civilian one's all right. I was going to get a uh, void militia part, but I would rather have the part at all rather than no part and have to pay for one. Don't worry, I'm starting to ramble, aren't I? Okay, let us take out Wanjo Jan. Now, before we take out Wanjo Jan, do we go for... No, because then he will pick up the scrap. Not the scrap, the... Man, I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Doesn't matter. Let's take out Wanjo Jan, then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Move to Wanjo Jan. And fight Wanjo Jan. <gasps> Void Militia are gone, ladies and gentlemen. Void Militia are gone. And, ooh, okay, what do you got? Strikecraft. Ooh, Officer Bookson did not replace his Strikecraft. That is not good. That is really not fucking good. Uh-huh. Oh, he's caught right in the middle, you moron. Did you run into an asteroid or something stupid? That's the sort of thing I would do. Didn't think anybody was that moronic. I doubt I'm going to save him. No, he's fucked. He's just, he is sitting completely still in space. There's nothing I could have done for him. Ah, well. Oh, damn, this guy's got a particle hose as well. Let's get a bit of distance between all these guys because I'm going to have to fight this battle alone now. Nothing I can do about it, though. Okay, this guy is really trying to keep up on my ass here. Um... Okay, no, bombers are targeting him, that's alright. That means I don't have to force fire, because if I have to force fire, it means my um, little guys will stop doing their job. Ooh, that's not the time to run out of capacitor juice. Not the time whatsoever. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, excellent. He is out of capacitor, but he is recharging rather quickly. Okay, okay. What the hell? Damn, I must have pressed E before instead of... Oh, I mentioned this in engineering, but I haven't mentioned it in the campaign yet. In case you didn't know this, and I didn't know this, and this is like my seventh fucking playthrough, if you hold down E rather than just pressing it, it cancels your force fire orders, and um, and yeah, the your uh, strike craft will return to um, surrounding and defending you. Okay, come on, take him out. Yes, got him. Excellent. Now, all these missiles coming in and torpedoes and cloud torpedoes and what have you. Let's, um... Ooh, damn, that strike craft's getting peppered from two sides. He's not going to live. Oh, that again? Wow. Okay, let's take this guy out then. Fuck him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ooh, I should not have went back. 
Okay, still got some boost juice in the tank, so let's... Also, ooh, damn, I had power to shields and I still got crumbled then. Okay, take this guy out. Take that guy out. Damn. You, you little prick. Stop tearing me apart. What did I lose? What did I lose? I'll get on, oh, okay, I'll come back for it later. Oi. Attach, attach, attach! Boy, they need to fix that. Oh god, that is annoying. Okay. Strikecraft, go kill this guy. My bomber's already targeting him anyway. And then we can go over here and finish off this second zombie. It's funny, there wasn't any point whatsoever in taking fucking Officer Bookson into that battle. Oh, uh, well. Spin back around, and you know what the worst thing is? I haven't established my star base, so unless I can sneakily build it right now, I'm going to have to go back to my territory just to repair my ship for free. Oh, for fuck's sake, kill him. Kill him. Jesus, you're a resistant little fucking cunt, aren't you? Okay, ooh, did I say the C word? Whoops, my bad, I try not to say that particular word. Uh-huh. Oh, God, okay, let's take this guy out. Come on, come on. Oh, look at all those little red globes of death. Gotta love my bombers. I gotta say, James, like James Crenshaw, must be happy because... That's one thing he wanted to see. Um, actually, might have been last season he mentioned it, that I should get bombers as soon as possible. And personally, I think while I technically could have had them the moment I had access to large parts, um, in terms of financial viability, this was the earliest I could have got them. Whoa, that was a uh, plasma discharger, I believe. Yes, it was. Here it comes again. Boosh, 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 boosh. Okay, so I have recalled my strike craft. There is no point them going down the gullet of a mothership when I have bombers. Okay, let's get um, outside of 600 range. There's no use being that close. There we go. Wanjo Jan. Look at all my bombers and, um, and zappers taking him on. Oop, he snuck back into 600. There we go. And my strike craft have whittled away that guy. So, there, oh, here he goes, another guy. Let's reload my capacitor. Just doesn't want to die. Just doesn't want to bloody die. Come on. Come on. And this guy keeps going back to the mothership. That is annoying. Come over here so I can... No, there, there yes. Come on. Everything killing... Oh, shit. Not concentrating on what I'm doing there. And... Are you gone? Are you gone? Are you gone? Because I would like to finish off the mothership as well. And yes. Excellent. Now, everybody, return to me. Get out of range of this guy. And since he's the only guy on the board, my bombers and zappers will go after him anyway. Actually, I might as well start turning around... And so I can pick up these blueprints. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Area clear. But my ship is rather badly damaged, which means... Oh, look at all these goodies. Of course, um, <laughs> some of these goodies are probably from Officer Books and the ship. <laughs> uh, sorry again. Okay, so... Ah, up another level. Armour, health, trading. You know what I'm going to take? I'm going to take armour, because I am sick of bits breaking off my fucking ship. Ooh, 12 core slots. That's awesome. 
and weapon damage is available so I will take weapon damage and Officer Bookson is not infected and is heading home we have a scavenge field with four cores on it and we have two zombies how much res have we got? 3381 cure infection in this guy and cure infection in that guy excellent so we have removed three zombies from the enemy camp that is awesome um, and for the loss of you know one of our ships in fact Bookson didn't have the greatest ship to start with now I would like to pick up that res field but let's quick save and see if we can sneakily run on over here and build a base don't know if I will get away with it may or may not may or may not uh, what's going on here Save. I don't have the scrap uh huh Okay, that's annoying. Um, scavenge pile. No, not enough scrap there either. Well, in that case, and that sucks. Um, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, let's head back here then. Try and pick up some cores so we've got more shit to sell. Seriously. Oh god, looks like I've got to kill off a bandage. Oh, I'm still damaged though. Oh, oh, oh no, he's not attacking me. I accidentally clicked on him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's try and scavenge up some shit. Looks like the bandit's going to get most of it. That's alright. Should be able to get one more. Yes, excellent. No, I didn't. That's alright. They can have the res. The zombies are fighting those guys. All good. Let's have a quick look and see. Did any of those lone captains get back yet? Wrong way. Here we go. Harry's on his way. Uh, Molly Popper up there. And Wanjo Jan up there. Okay. So they're heading up the same rate as Officer Bookson. There we go. I will head back to base. Unfortunately. I need to repair, I need to sell some stuff off. And, of course, I will probably recruit... Which one was that? Yeah, that was Harry Beggar. I will recruit Harry Beggar. Um, okay. Collect stockpile. Oh, jeez. Excellent. Uh, personal stash. I guess we better disinfect all that crap. And... There we go. Make sure I've only selected things that are actually infected. There we go. Now, let us put an extra core on the ship. Now, this is what I hate fucking most. When you've got an eye-shaped ship. Because it means I have to do that. Grab a core. Stick that on. Stick that there. Stick that there. Yes, I don't care that you're facing that way. It probably looks better that way anyway. Okay, so we'll stick you guys on. That's a flat cannon. Yes. Now that... Okay, we have a decision to make. Do we want to... Uh, well, you know what? I believe in my stash, I held on to... At least I fucking hope I did. I held on to personal stash... I'll keep that other watch part. Um, yes, SRMs. Excellent. Let's transfer them across. Now, I... Um, let's just transfer that across momentarily. Um... Yeah, sorry for my complete and absolute silence then. I was just uh, caught up with thinking, did I... Yes, that was the cloud torpedo I took off because... Yep, 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 doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. I definitely do not want to stick regular missiles on. I want SRMs. Excellent. Okay. And now I will sell all of this garbage if, of course, my starbase has the cash for it. Trade. 2455. Five. Well, we can get rid of some of it anyway. Um... Uh, okay, if we do that and then. Wait, how much are we over by? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, we'll do that. Okay. And then we'll just stick this back in for a little bit. Now, um. Okay, one of my guys is uh, Commander Eye on You and Joe Downs are both fighting that bandit. I think they can manage to take him on. Now, of course, what we've got to do is we've got to go down. Uh, I don't really want to wait around for Harry to come all the way back up because while he may look close, let me show you how slow these guys move. That slow. So instead, I'm going to go down and make another stab at establishing this base I guess the only other thing I can do is have a go at the oh there we go so Harry volunteered to join me anyway and Harry you are quite welcome to now what to do about these zombies here oh actually there's only the one zombie here what is he going to do what the fuck oh look at them all Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if I can get away with it. Move down here. And build a star base. Can I do it? No, I can't. I am being attacked by two guys. And somebody's coming to help me, but they are definitely not going to make it in time. Okay, let's turn. Oh, left and right. They're on. Damn. Okay, let's put all our power to shield, since all my drones have launched, and they will keep on attacking even when my power is to shields. Okay, I'm nearly out of boost juice though, which is not well timed. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Keep on powering to shields and hopefully... There we go, put some boost juice into the engines, and... Damn! Oh, Mouta Cap, that is not good. Not good. Not good. Damn, all these gravity missiles. Is <gasps> I lost my engine? Oh, well, that was instant death. Damn, all those gravity missiles just fucked me. I just couldn't move whatsoever. Well, you were watching. It was like, you know, I was a fucking snail. Um, okay. Okay, I think these <laughs> these zombies and this bandit are all having a a um, three way here. Or there's yeah, two zombies and a bandit, so I guess it is a three way. Um, fuck it, let's just fight everybody. Just as one last thing for the episode, I reckon I'm going to get annihilated, but maybe I won't. Who knows? Let's see if I can t do a quick hard right and launch all my shit let's see what's gonna happen hopefully my guys will stay nice and close and this time I won't get hit by a zillion fucking gravity missiles oh what was I saying fucking hell okay they're regular missiles that's alright but these purple ones they're the gravity missiles they suck donkeys balls now okay not bad not bad Actually, no, 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 what am I doing? If I do that, my um, strike craft will concentrate on him as well. Let's just hope that the bombers pick a decent target. Okay. Okay. Damn, okay, out of capacitor. That's all right, that's all right. That's all right. We're doing okay. Doing okay. Let's head towards this guy. Let's head past this guy. <laughs> They're having a nice little fight back there without me. That's all right. That's the whole plan. That's the whole plan. Okay, excellent. 
form up on me, guys. And yeah, actually, this is the exact guy I want everybody to concentrate on taking out. And then after him, we're going to take out this guy over here. Ooh, somebody's shooting an iron shotgun at me, and that would be this guy right here. Which is alright, because... Oh, another guy got ahead of me. Damn! Okay, yep, my particle hoses are doing sweet fuck all. Everybody, kill this dude. He's annoying me. There we go. Slaughtered in seconds. Okay, out of capacitor, which means here comes all my drones. Let's um, tell my strikecraft to regroup on me. What's going on over here anyway? Is the bandit... Okay, there's still three motherships. So, um, let's keep on working away at the strike craft. Uh, looks like there's no more strike craft coming towards me. It looks like they've fucking given up. Okay. Then again, all that could be left is bandit strike craft downrange now. Who knows? Okie dokie. Um, that looks suspiciously like... Huh. Looked like a rum bomb from an ion bomber, but... There should have been multiple ones. Okay, what do we got? We got... Well, that guy's dead. Okay, so my cloud torpedoes are within range of this guy. Both of these guys have been smashed to pieces, so... Here's the zombie, here's the pirate in the middle, he's fucked. Oh, pulse are coming in, that's alright, that's alright. And yep, my cloud torpedoes have just taken out one of the zombies. And probably, you know, the pirates fire as well, obviously. But, let's um, keep on firing off... Well, what am I saying? I've only got the one cloud torpedo now, haven't I? Ah, well, that's alright. Uh-huh. I'm thinking that um, this is the last of the strike craft, actually. Not that it matters, because all the motherships are dead, which means no more strike craft. Tell you what, as battles go, this is a pretty good one to end the episode, I've got to say. That's uh, one pirate and two zombies down, and a heap of blueprints to me. And best of all, I didn't get damaged. Well, I didn't get much damage anyway. So, let's um, pick up all our loot for disinfecting. Which I might actually do now, just so I don't forget about it at the start of next episode. And we will take shield strength. And we will take... Uh, actually, we'll take strike craft command points, I think. Yep. And capacitor, strike craft. We'll take more strike craft command points. Wow. That was good leveling, that was. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Um. Ah, oh, there we go. Stitchy and Robo Kogan. Fantastic. And we are on top of a massive pile of stuff to pick up. But we are out of time. And before we call it, let's just zoom out and see what is going on in the absence of both the Sun Hunters and now the Void Militia. Wow, that's a lot of zombie territories. Well, he hasn't retaken those two that uh, I cleansed, but yeah, he's um, slowly snapping up all the Sun Hunter ones. But um, that is for another time. And that's it for this episode. Give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one!